The Singapore Armed Forces is testing new technology at Exercise Wallaby in Australia this year. The tech helps the Army and the Air Force manage flight paths of aerial assets. The Airspace Planning and Visualisation Application, or the APV, will ensure the safe deployment of aerial assets during training. Claudia Lim tells us more. Flying drones may be a hobby for many, but for the Army, it's not child's play. On the battlefield, drones are extra pairs of eyes for ground troops, providing key information during missions. Before takeoff, navigators have to make sure its flight path is clear of other aircraft. In the past, this requires several phone calls. Now, with the APV, all you need is a mobile device or a computer. It's the first time the APV is making its appearance here at Exercise Wallaby. With this, teams can track the manned aircraft like helicopters and unmanned aircraft like drones on the same screen without having to go through a tedious process to deconflict. When flying a drone or a helicopter, teams can indicate their flight zones on the application. The green zones show the flight area of the drones, while the blue zones are for helicopters. They're clearly mapped out on the system and tracked in real time. This allows ground control staff to plan routes accordingly and reduces back and forth checks between services. This application helps both services to overcome the complexities of airspace management by providing a common management platform to monitor the flight paths of both manned aircraft and unmanned UAVs, so as to co-utilize the airspace safely and enhance our airspace management. While the SAF taps new technology to raise capabilities and efficiency, older ones get upgrades too, like the Mobile Imagery Intelligence Dissemination System, or MITS. In the past, the MITS could only tap on one drone feed, and the image could be viewed on just one device at a time. It has been enhanced to give our troops an edge. Now, these images are captured by multiple drones from various angles. Having this uh, feed in their, in their hands that is provided from the UAVs in the sky uh, helps them to see beyond the horizon, helps them to understand the battlefield a little bit better and improve the way they operate. Major Chiot says his team will continue to upgrade the application with feedback from the troops. He says innovation is key to keep up with the changing dynamics of warfare.